Please state your name for the court. Yes, Dante Davis. What was that? I'm sorry. Uh, Dante Davis. Dante Davis. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Davis, um, were you at the uh, Mock Park on the night of the shooting? Um, no, no, I wasn't actually um, at the park. Okay. But, um, so you're up here today uh, because you are familiar with both uh, Bernard Hawkins and Virgil McClendon. Correct, yes. So could you tell us how you know them? Yeah, yeah, I know um, um, Virgil. Um, I know he's kind of, we are, um, you know, we're like boys and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, we've hung out and stuff like that. Specifically, actually, um, I've hung out with both Virgil and McClendon before at my crib. Virgil and McClendon? I'm sorry, Virgil is Virgil McClendon. Oh, sorry, so Virgil and Bernard? Darwin Stone, my bad. Darwin Stone? Yeah, Virgil and Darwin. That oh, with, yeah. okay, my mistake, my mistake. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, give me one sec. I, uh, I wasn't aware you knew uh, Darwin Stone. Um, yeah, I guess like me and Virgil and Darwin, um, I know they're both part of the Windsor Terrace Posse. Um, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. They that's, a, uh, that's a gang around here, correct? Yeah, correct, exactly. Exactly. They're kind of rivals, like the short word posse. Okay, all right. And then uh, you actually, you but you do know Bernard Hawkins as well. Um, yeah, yeah, I know Bernard. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how long have you known Bernard? Um, I haven't known Bernard that long at all. I just kind of know of him. We all kind of live around the similar area. I just kind of seen him out and about before. Okay. Um, so not that close, but no, no, not at all. Actually, I learned more about Bernard from Virgil. Actually. Okay. But due to your uh, connection with both the victim uh, and the defendant in this case, uh, the cops uh, questioned you, correct? The police actually correct. questioned you. And you uh, actually gave over your phone to them. You allowed them to search through your phone, correct? Yes, I did, yep. Okay, and uh, what did they find on that phone? Um, well, there was pictures of um, me, um, Virgil, and Darwin Stone posing with a handgun. Um, and uh, yeah. who owned the gun in that picture? Um, so the handgun. Who did you get the gun from? I should say. Yeah, it was owned by Johnny Davis. Uh, he's my uncle. He's a licensed dealer in Little Rock, Arkansas. Okay, but that actual, the gun that you took in that picture with, it was originally gotten from your uncle. But uh, who did that gun belong to? Um, Which one of you? Virgil was the one who had. That was Virgil's yeah. gun. Okay. Um. All right, thank you. And uh, so, I understand that you also had uh, some dealings with uh, Mr. McClendon uh, after the shooting. Uh, Correct. Could you explain that to the court, please? Yeah, so he was, um, Verge hit me up, and he was like, yo, like, I gotta be hiding out for a little bit, and stuff like that. I was like, oh, what's up? And like, I know. Yeah, so he, uh, he said he kind of wanted to come stay with me for a little bit. I know his girlfriend was driving him around a lot. Okay, and when was this? This was June thirtieth. Um, when I was speaking to Virgil at um, his apartment. Okay, and what did my of, of course. And what did he tell you when you were speaking to him when he was over at your place? Um. Yeah. He told me he needed to get rid of that gun that was in the picture because um, he used it to shoot Bernard Hawkins. Uh, it was he said hot. that the gun was too hot. Okay. He said he needed. He he admitted to you that he shot Bernard Hawkins. Yes. Okay. And uh, did he did he mention anything else while he was there, other than um, just needing to get rid of that gun because it was the gun that he used to shoot? Yeah, so he wanted to get rid of that gun, and then he also wanted to um, get another gun because he knew members of the Short North Posse were after him. Okay, is that a rival gang to the? Correct. Yes. Okay, and um, you said that that was too hot that gun. Mm -hmm. Was that gun that he wanted to get rid of the same one in that picture from your phone? Correct, yes. Okay. Um, while he was there, thank you, did he mention anything about his intention to shoot Mr. Hawkins? Um, no, he actually intended to shoot Wesley Whitehead, um, but Bird was telling me that Whitehead ran behind Hawkins um, as, as, like a shoot. Yeah, okay. as Virgil was trying to shoot him. Okay, so he... So his, his shooting of Mr. Hawkins was then 
unintentional, but still, he did shoot him. Uh, yeah, that's what he said, yeah. Okay. And uh, one final question. Um, are you aware of any past shootings that Mr. McClendon's been involved in, or is this, uh, to your knowledge, the first incident like this he's ever been involved in? I was aware that Burge was involved um, in a shooting kind of at the corner of Morse Road and Cleveland Ave. Okay, so this is not his first offense that you're aware of? Uh, not based on I, my knowledge, no. But just to reiterate one final time, he did admit to you that he shot Bernard Hawkins and that he did own, that that was his gun. Correct, yes. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Davis. No more questions at this time. Thank you.